There's a new sheriff in town, traders, and he's a bit strange. Um, can we trust him? It's hard to say. So let's F around and find out. We have Sheriff's High Low this week, traders. It is spelled Hilo, like Hilo Hawaii, but is pronounced High Low from what I gather. And uh, yeah, this is a weird one. Just know. Uh, but stick around. You're going to want to see it. Uh, before we get started, let's talk to the new people here. If you're brand new, this is the premier indicator channel on all of YouTube. Always was, will always be. Uh, but we talk and do things a certain way, and you're going to want to know what those ways are, or you're going to be confused all the time. So go to nonsenseforex.com. Read the homepage, watch the video on that homepage, and get started. Get caught up. It's worth it. But for the rest of us, let's get into the specs of the Sheriff High Low Indicator. This is the newest indicator we've ever done. It was created this year. How about that? Now, this will be a confirmation indicator. Uh, for the second week in a row, we are having a chart overlay style of confirmation indicator. And as far as exits go, normally a chart overlay indicator would be a great option. Um, for this particular one, I don't really know. And um, this answer or non-answer uh, should become a little more clear in a moment. Uh, but let's take a look at what we're dealing with here. The sheriff's high-low indicator looks like this. How many signals are on this chart? The answer is one. So like I said, this is the sheriff's high-low in its original form. And yeah, there's one signal. It's a short signal. And it's a laughably bad short signal. So if you're able to catch that early on, good for you. But as soon as price breaks this line right here, then everything flips and we go to this line up above. And this becomes a short signal. Now eventually, okay, it did go lower after all of this pain. And who's going to stick around for all that pain? Nobody. But yeah, that's what we got. <laughs> now if this at any point in time would have broken this magenta line up here, that it would have flipped back and you would have a long signal. So, you know, if, if this is the only example you got, uh, most people would completely laugh this off and move on. Uh, 10 years ago, VP would have laughed at this one very hard and moved on. I might have just kept it to show other people and say, look what a joker indicator this thing is. But yeah, this would have been very easy to, uh, to pass by. So obviously, yes, you're going to have to tweak it and make it a bit faster. And when you do that, it's going to look more like this. This is something I just ripped from the blog, which we're going to uh, link below. But you want something that looks a bit more like the super trend, you know, those style of indicators. And you can see, as soon as it breaks to the upside, that's your long. As soon as it breaks to the downside and the lines flip, that is your short. So much better here. The question is, when you have something that was originally coded to look like this, is it really built to look like this and do its job well? Yeah, that's a big question. And the best way to answer that question is by testing. So let's go ahead and get into the results. Before we do that, understand you must test this on your own. If you see really great results, don't get too excited. If you see really poopy results, don't get too down. You have to test this in your own system to see. Now, if you're a newbie, you might think, okay, wait a minute, this thing was created this year. How can you even go a year back? Well, because it's a computer program. <laughs> no matter when it was built, you can go back as far as you want. Uh, but now that we've gotten that question out of the way, uh, also know that down below in the description, you're going to get a lot. You're going to get a link to my automation blog that has an embedded video on how to test these yourself on the MT4 strategy tester. You will also get the very popular Stonehill 4X blog that goes into the tweak settings that we don't show you on here, all the, uh, the calculations, the history, all that stuff um, that you might want to know about this indicator. Also, Dan Stone's second email address if you want to submit an indicator um, to possibly be profiled on this show. And you're going to get his YouTube channel. So if you like the blog, you're definitely going to like the YouTube channel because there's a video there. Um, I think he embeds it in the vlog too, but you can also go to the channel and see uh, a, a kind of a, an after show of the video you see here. If you want to see more visually about this blog, like he'll go bar by bar and candle by candle and show you how this thing moves and reacts. So it just depends on how deep you want to go here. You can go as deep as you want, which is nice. 
Uh, and then, as always, a place where you can go download this indicator and every indicator that we have profiled here on the show. Now, let's see how the sheriff did for us on the Euro USD. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, anytime you can get positive results on an indicator, you know, you've done okay. But this, this just isn't very exciting. Um, I will tell you that I've seen the results on all four pairs. 30 trades is high. This is going to be one of those indicators for people who like lower amounts of trades. Um, as you can see on the default, no surprise, because we've all seen how this thing works. You know, you barely get any trades out of it. So even if you have a high win-loss ratio, this ROI is not going to be that big more often than not. So you're going to have to tweak it. Uh, but even after we did that, this was the best we could come up with. Um, so let's go ahead and move over to gold, where uh, the results are much better. Maybe don't put too much stock in this, uh, this indicator going six for six on the four hour, especially if you're a discretionary four hour trader, you're going to be around for all six of those and the chances are not likely. Um, but if you're coding, then it matters a lot less. Uh, now I'm starting to get questions on the comments section of people who are obviously new that are saying, Hey, you know, I really like the four hour chart. I really like what I'm seeing on these results. Can I trade the four hour chart? My man. You can trade any time frame you want. You can trade any time frame you want on this system. But we focus on doing things in the most optimal fashion. And the daily chart, for many reasons, is the most optimal way to go. So if you're okay doing things suboptimally, then yes, trade any time frame you like. The no nonsense Forex trading system will work on those time frames as well. But for optimized results, the daily is where you want to be. But it's good to see nice results here. I was worried that we might just have a clunker here. And I shouldn't even say that. There's so many indicators that just on its own can't even break you know, the zero mark on most of these. But um, this, this is nice for all you gold traders out here. Check this one out if you are a spot metals trader. S&P 500, uh, <laughs> you know, again, 5%, 6%. Not bad for the S&P, uh, but you can certainly do better, and we have certainly done better here. Nice high win-loss ratio, if you like that. Um, if you're maybe interested in using this as a secondary confirmation indicator, that you want to see things with higher win-loss ratios than your normal confirmation indicator. You know, the trade-off for your second confirmation is that it moves slower, uh, but there could be something here. And then for Bitcoin, to where we've seen you know, crazy results you know, all up and down the board, you really don't see them here. Um, again, four hour is the four hour in this case. It was interesting to see some high results here, but not here. But again, eight trades total on a four hour chart. Eh. I understand ROI is what matters, but you know, it's just one of those things. Uh, but I was really glad to see this. This is very interesting to have something that was coded this year and to have something that was this goofy, yet still able to pull out some results on one of these pairs. I love episodes like this. I think they're great episodes to kind of squeeze in there from time to time. And I hope you enjoyed it too. Hey, we do this every week, by the way, along with the Trading Psychology Podcast every Monday, the single most important thing we do these days. Indicator profile videos every Wednesday, blog every Thursday, and then the 10 Minute Contrarian podcast investing series every Saturday. So subscribe and hit the bell. We make you financially bulletproof here. If you too want to be financially bulletproof, you know what to do. Subscribe, put in the work, and go get it.